This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the best place for you to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that specific code card to complete your deck or just to open up some packs, they have it all. From Darkness of Blaze, Champions Pads, you name it. Look at the huge variety that they offer. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a platform I personally use every day. And this is for European players to purchase and sell cards all across Europe. And uh, they have lots of good stuff on here. You can uh, actually uh, open up an account and start selling yourself or buy a fantastic amount of products from people all across Europe. So definitely check out both of my sponsors, PotownStore.com as well as CardMarket. And as a little addition, if you go to Potown Store, you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5 percent of your next order so definitely do so you'll help me out a ton What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another video on my channel In this video we're actually going to be talking about the new banned cards in the expanded format Right now, I'm actually not that active in the expanded community. I'm uh, mainly focused on standard on my channel because in Europe, we don't have a lot of expanded tournaments. So that is the main reason we're focusing on standard. But this is some huge news that I actually want to share with you guys because there's four cards being banned uh, with, of course, this new uh, coming into effect on the 27th of November. So with Vivid Voltage being legal in the expanded format, that's when uh, these cards will get banned. Now we're going to be uh, talking about them in this video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the content uh, that I'm putting out, be sure to demolish the like button as always. You know I always appreciate that and it helps out the channel more than you would possibly think. So for the expanded players out there, this is something you should know. Milotic, the one from Flash Fire that has the Energy Grace ability, will be banned from the expanded format starting on the 27th of November. The crazy thing is that they didn't give it an errata or anything, they just state it's banned. And uh, the reason for that is that it's very powerful, you can use its ability once during your turn, you may knock out this Pokemon. We've seen effects like this before with Magneton, with Ms. Magus. Ms. Magus on the other hand is also banned, which is very funny. So typically if you knock something out, the opponent gets, takes a prize card but you have a, a very strong effect. And it states here, if you do, attach 3 basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon, excluding Pokemon EX. So uh, this is staying specifically Pokemon EX, so you can attach to GX Pokemon, for instance, Tag Team GXs, you could attach to V Pokemon. So they didn't give it an errata, and uh, when time continues, there's gonna be more and more V Pokemon, more V Maxes even, where it can accelerate energies too, so that is insane. So that's why instead of like giving it an errata that you cannot attach to V Pokemon and GXs altogether, they just ban Milotic entirely so that was a very great card because with Milotic you could actually blow it up and cards like Dustmore and Trevenant uh, tag team GX could make use of that having energies out of the out of the get-go out of nowhere like on the second turn you can get this rolling and uh, this is gonna be fantastic for your Dustmore Trevenant because that it can use the night watch attack and then you can select two cards from the opponent's hand and lets them shuffle those in the deck with uh, cards like Milota giving up prize cards and reset stamp and end being a thing in the expanded format, I think it's reasonable because they just want to make the game fair. They don't want to make like a, a game where people can win by getting a lock on the second turn or on the first turn of the game, making it impossible for the opponent to actually play the game. So I understand the bad of Milotic. But they could have actually given it an errata that you cannot attach to uh, multiple prize Pokemon. For instance, no uh, EX Pokemon, no V Pokemon, no GX Pokemon. But they didn't do that, they just banned Milotic. Not the worst thing in the world, because yeah, uh, people in Expanded thought that it's one of, one of the more strong archetypes, like Dust North Trevenant, uh, being able to just use Nightwatch on the second turn and getting your hand to zero, basically, is, it's insane. Okay, the next card, I'm very f uh, glad that this is banned. I'm, I don't like stall at all. You should know me by now. This is like my my uh, <laughs> arch enemy, I think. Oranguru with resource management. Uh, during my uh, days of playing the trading card game, I've came across like a lot of players that played Oranguru, Pidgeotto, stall, whatever it was, Chinchino, uh, Mill. I don't even care at this point. It was always not fun to play against them because with resource management you can actually put three cards from the discard pile on the bottom of the deck so you could have infinite resources and that's why they banned uh, Oranguru altogether. Uh, so 
it all started with the hand control decks. We of course have Zorwar control, uh, stepped it over to uh, Pidgeotto control. Uh, this is insane because with Chip Chip, Ice Axe and all that, you can make sure the opponent dead draws the entire game and uh, you can mill them out completely and uh, use research management to get your crushing hammers back, your chip chips uh, back in the deck. So research management, Aranguru is gone. It was already gone in standard. Uh, it actually survived standard until it got rotated with Ultra Prism, but it actually is leaving expanded. So no more Aranguru's, thank God. What else can we see is that they also banned Sableye. This is the one from Dark Explorers brings back memories right i have like a booster box openings on the channel of dark explorers i've been making videos for a long while so if you guys are uh yeah still remember that be sure to let me know in the comment section what can we see about sableye the exact same uh, effect like the orang ruler instead of like putting them on the bottom of the deck this sableye lets you use junk hunt put two item cards into your hand and with live do like ace pack cards and all that crazy shenanigans that goes with it it is actually insane to get resources back from the discard pile that efficient like two any two cards from the discard pile into your hand that's insane if you get the lock up and rolling sableye is probably one of the scariest ones because they go to the hand immediately they don't need an extra draw support with a ranger you need something like zorak gx or you need uh chinchino to draw those cards out of the deck but both are gone i wonder what uh, is going to happen to its stall archetypes I know there's still like max potion decks out there, but like pure control decks will have it hard and expand. You don't, you don't have any of these cards, that's insane. And the next card, the saving the best for last, is Shaman EX. This card being banned from the expanded format is huge. People were asking, ban ADP and all that. They did not listen to that at all. Uh, instead, like, uh, yeah, they even printed the new, there's gonna be a new ADP alternate art coming out shortly, and even a league de battle deck. So they actually promoting ADP uh, uh, quite a, a lot. Uh, instead of that, they actually banned Shaman EX. I'm going to explain you why they did that. Uh, first of all, you need to think about the, the trading card game as a whole. Drawing cards is power, right? Uh, we've seen it before with Zoroark, you draw cards, you're, you're gonna be a fantastic deck because you have access to almost your entire deck because you draw so significantly. We have the Danny GX, Unbroken Bounce, slap it down, discard your hand, draw six cards, that's already good. We have Crobat V, you can slap it down, drawing six cards, that's good. But both of those cards specifically state you cannot play another one of those abilities during your turn. Like if you use DD change, you cannot use another DD change. That is specifically stated on the card and all thanks to Shaman EX because with Shaman EX, they don't have that limitation. You can actually use Shaman, you set up, draw some cards, play out some cards, play down another Shaman, draw some more cards. But the most busted thing about this is that you could have actually done something like Shaman EX, draw some cards, Shaman EX, draw some cards, Shaman EX, draw some cards. I know there's like uh, the Sky Field, which allows you to have a bench of eight, uh, which is insane. And Scoop Up Net also works with Shaman EX because Scoop Up Net only uh, doesn't work on like V Pokemon and GX Pokemon, but it does work on EXs, which is insane because that means you can use Shaman, draw card, Shaman, draw card, scoop up net, picking it up, slapping it down again, Shaman. And you can even uh, up that way, even with the Danny GX and Crobat and draw your entire deck on turn one. So there's deadly combinations possible with that. And that's why they decided to ban Shaman EX. Uh, as we can see here, the next announcement will be on February 4th. I'm wondering if they're gonna be banning any more cards. It's very hard to predict because there's not any physical tournaments happening right now. Uh, we can actually take a look at the list of the, all the banned cards for now. But uh, as they can state here, uh, I already stated it here, the Milotix Energy Grace allows to attach to uh, GX and V Pokemon, which is very detrimental and crazy in the format because Trevenant and Dustmore can actually, yeah, they stayed here with Ace Trainer. So you don't even need Reset Stamp. Ace Trainer, if you're behind in prize cards, puts the opponent to uh, yeah, a three card hand. And if you go second, uh, or actually you go first, and the, th the following turn, you can actually get this off it's insane. Opponent goes out to three cards. You use the Night Watch of Travenor, and out of nowhere, they have only one card in hand, and that from the second turn. Yeah, not playing the game is not fun. Uh, same story for or Orangru and uh, yeah, uh, Stabilize here. Being able to loop uh, control strategies like Crushing Hammer and uh, yeah, the Chip Chips and all that is very annoying to deal with. Uh, but they had some, uh, they had a, spl a place in the meta. So I wonder why they banned both of them. Why didn't they, uh, I don't know. Like you cannot get back certain cards, I don't know. Banning, like uh, we always need a control uh, kind of style in the in the TCG to actually have like balance. We have control, we have very aggressive decks and then we have evolution decks and all that. So 
It's gonna be weird not having control around. Even though I don't play expand, I'm just giving my opinion about these banned cards. We also see the sheer force, as mentioned, Shaman EX with scoop up net is very deadly. You could be drawing your entire deck instantly. So tournament results and community feedback will continue to be analyzed to maintain a healthy play environment. In particular, the expanded format will be aggressively monitored because there are so many cards ever since black and white all the way up to champion spat and even vivid voltage that there's crazy uh, potential deadly combos. So that is it for the expanded format. So hopefully you guys enjoyed me rambling on about the banned card. Let me know your opinions down below. What else can I say here is that the Pokemon TCG card ban list here. In standard, there's only two cards. There's Ms. Magius from Unbroken Bonds and Blalba and Bryson Man. So, and expanded, there's a whole heap of cards. I remember making a video about banned cards and there was only like Lysander's Trump card and like a shift tree or something. And now there's a whole heap. I've never imagined the day that there was gonna be a huge ban list on the Pokemon trading card game, but as expanded grows and the community is playing like more and more, so they uh, discover crazy deadly combos like this. It was inevitable, right? We have Wally here uh, evolving on the first turn when you even played something down. Could be insane. The unknown decks. I've actually uh, showcased that the unknown Waylord mechanic did work. Reset stamp is banned and expanded, which is crazy. You still have N, so at least you have that. Red card, like every card that uh, just breaks the game entirely. Lights in the strong card, shuffling everything from your discard pile. I know, that was a, a serious effect one day, like Phantom Forces. Lusamine, they actually don't like control at all, like Jesse James gone, Lieutenant Surge gone, Lusamine gone, uh, Jet Getches, Jetses, or whatever you pronounce this fella. So all of these, Force of Giant Plans, where is the days of the Sejuai GX? So all of these cards are banned. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think about the expanded format. I personally don't play the expanded format since there's not a lot of tournaments in Europe and I'm focusing on standard to actually, uh, yeah, significantly do better in the standard format so I can talk at almost every event. So that is my main goal. Hopefully the events will continue very shortly in 2021. Anyhow, I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day. I'll be giving away a coupon code for cartmarket.com as always in every video. That's for European players. And that's gonna be a five euro coupon code that I'll be giving away. Uh, let's see here. We're actually gonna have to swap over the screen here. Maybe I can put it on the screen immediately. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna be putting it. Uh, code, yeah, add source. There we go. This, that is not the correct code, by the way. It was an older one. So it is updated right now. Let's just uh, enlarge this a little bit. So as you can see, uh, free card market, five euro coupon code for one lucky person. So if you are the person that uh, gets this code, be sure to let me know in the comment section what you're gonna buy with it. It's a perfect place for European players to buy and sell cards. Uh, on the other hand, we have, of course, Potown Store, my other uh, sponsor. If you're looking for TCG online code cards, they have everything from, uh, yeah, Champions Pad to, um, older sets, whatever you want, promo codes, they have everything. And they will have Vivid Voltage up on stock very, very shortly. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, me uh, ma uh, rambling on about the banned cards. Even though I don't play Expanded, it's still uh, nice to give you the, the news to all of you uh, lovely subscribers over here. And I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day. Subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.